Yeah, Mark, where did you guys find the resolve to get the comeback in regulation and then uh, overcome things in overtime? Uh, I think it was just, a, a, you know, our passion. We were in the locker room and we said we got to go. You know, obviously we had a real slow start. They were really hot in the first half. And we said those first five minutes were real important. And we came out fight swinging and we were just going to keep chipping away. And I'm um, really proud of the, the guys. You know, they really we really fought back and, you know, grinded out stops, you know, even though Brockington was, you know, making some shots and they were getting some layups, we just kept fighting and kept trusting in Coach Weber's uh, plan and our preparation was great. Coach Henderson, you know, showed us everything we were going to do and it was wonderful. So, you know, I'm just really proud. You know, we executed great, you know, locked in on defense. I'm really proud of the guys and, you know, we all came together, even in overtime. It's kind of the same thing what happened in Texas. We were all saying we are leaving here with this win. Everyone was locked in and you know, that's what we did. And you guys went to, <clears throat> excuse me, went zone for a couple of possessions. You feel like that kind of threw things off for them? And it did. And obviously, and when we got the force foul on Brockington, you know, he was, you know, we was just, I was being aggressive and driving, driving him. And, uh, you know, because I knew he had some fouls. And uh, when we got him out the game, they really didn't have their go-to score. And we really, you know, switched them up, even though number five was making shots. You know, we really tried to have someone else make a play. And it was, uh, you know, it was great. You know, we, we really stuck together as a team. And it was just a great team win. And describe for me your driving dish to uh, Noel in the corner. Well, you know, Coach Shane and I, we work on that drill, you know, especially how they play defense. And I saw when I caught it the time on the clock and wanted to throw Keith a good pass so he could get it off and shoot it. Kind of hit the bottom of the net a little bit. And uh, I just threw a zip the bullet through there because I saw Hunter kind of raising up with Nigel. And uh, as soon as he shot it, I knew it was going in. And that's just a drill we work on every day. And shout out to Coach Shane for that. <laughs> just a drill we work on every day. Uh, and, uh, you know, I just was taking, you know, what Coach uh, – you know, what coach was showing us that we would get versus them in their defense. And that's what we got. We got a great shot. All right, Mark. Thank you. No problem. Next question to Kellis. Yeah, Mark, when was the last time you were part of a victory that was quite that dramatic? Uh, uh, it's been a long time, you know. Um, I'm just so happy that we got the win and, you know, we're just keep building, taking it one game at a time. You know, I think everyone's really bought into Coach Weber and, you know, everyone's really locked in on fighting for Coach Weber. And uh, I haven't had a win like that in a very long time. So, you know, it was great to, you know, we started off slow and obviously we fought back, chipped away and, you know, we stayed strong and uh, it was a great win. Did their big guy uh, stepping out and making those threes early catch you guys off guard? Uh, I just think, you know, early on we missed some rotations. Um, we worked on that, and uh, Coach Henderson was stressing that he was a good player, that, you know, even though his numbers aren't showing it, but he can really pop out and shoot. And uh, we we're just keep, and uh, it was a little shocking at first, but we did a great job adjusting and uh, fighting. And uh, I thought we did a great job on him. You know, the second half, I think he hit one big three, but that was it. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. No problem. Next question to Cole. Yeah, hey, Mark, I was just wondering if you could talk a little bit about what Selton meant to you guys today. Man, it was great having him out there. Obviously, he had a big time block, you know, just getting in the paint, making layups, you know, just what Selton does. And, you know, I thought he did a great job in his minutes, you know, getting to the free throw line, attacking, you know, he'll get in his groove where he starts making his layups again. And, uh, you know, it was great to see him out there again. You know, um, obviously, he's a big key to our team. You know, he's getting back his his uh, legs under him and, you know, guarding. Obviously, back he, they went to the basket, blocked it off the glass. So it was great to see him out there playing again and bringing his energy you know brings a lot of energy and I'd say he's a leader on the team and people listen to his voice so in the huddle you know first half when we was down he was doing a great job of bringing energy all right appreciate it no problem uh next question to D, D Scott I can't hear you you're on mute sorry about that all of a sudden, you guys have this quick turnaround. How do you guys take this momentum into the next game on Monday and playing in front of the fans? You know, I think it's going to be great. You know, obviously, the Manhattan fans are great. You know, obviously, when you come off wins like that, you know, the uh, brand list is really packed. And, you know, obviously, we're going to take their energy. But obviously, you know, the coaches are really going to have us prepared. We got to come in tomorrow and have a great practice. And, you know, you know, go over their things again, learn from what happened from the first game. And, um 
just keep growing, taking it one game at a time. Like coach says, just keep growing. And uh, obviously, you know, guys got to get some treatment and rest our bodies. Uh, but uh, it was a it was a great win tonight. It's a great to be able to come back with with this victory and, and come back to Manhattan. I know you're taking it one game at a time, but every every game is so important right now. It's a game, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's great, and you know we're taking it one game at a time. But this is a great uh, victory to, for us, and you know obviously they're a good team with some some good wins. So you know obviously it's helping our our resume, and you know we just got to keep chipping away. Thank you. Okay, Arnie, you'll be the last question for Mark. Yeah, Mark, I think it, at halftime, you guys had four points in the paint. Uh, was that something, um, Did you, I think then 20 in the second half in overtime, what did you guys do differently to, to maybe get to the basket better? Well, obviously, you know, coach always says our strength is uh, getting in the paint and touches. And I think we were getting in the paint, but, you know, we were just kind of having a little turnovers, losing the ball. And uh, when we got in the when we got in the paint, uh, coach said, you know, 18 to 40 wrote it on the board. And obviously getting to the paint, our field goal percentage is really high. And uh, that's what we focused on. You know, I thought guys were getting in the paint. It's, you know, everyone. Nigel was driving in there, passing it out. Keys, you know, we really just started attacking and uh, getting to the basket. And uh, finishing at the rim, you know, we missed some, but it was good. When we get paint touches, you know, we scrap for some rebounds and things like that. So it was a uh, that was really the uh, message, you know. Obviously, we gotta get some shutouts in halftime. It was get shutouts and you know, getting the paint more. You know, that was it. Thanks. Yep, no problem. Thank you, guys.